Hey, here we are today and just uh, kind of concluding chapter one and, and sovereign God. And, and what, here's, what, here's what we've seen. God, God uses godless people for God's good and God's glory and God's plan. And then we saw that um, we can live for God in the midst of a crooked generation. And after that, we looked at that when we do live for God in the midst of bad times, God, God blesses us. And when God blesses us, God gets the glory because it's better. Um, finally, in, in chapter 1, we, we should see this overwhelming, overwhelming theme that, that God, God controls everything. And, and, and I want you to notice in the text, right, um, Daniel is very careful at least three times in this text. He says, God gave, and God gave, and God gave. It starts in verse 2. The Lord gave Jehoiakim into his hand. Um, in verse 9, God gave Daniel favor. In verse 17, God gave them learning in, and skill in all literature and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and, and dreams. So, so, so what's going on? Um, Daniel is looking and he's saying, man, if you're reading this, it's all about God. God has given us. He's given us and he's given all these things so that so that why? Well, so that God gets the glory. So that we look around and we know that God controls all things. Um, the question, the, the point for us, right, as we think about the question, is that, that God, God, God is doing things in your life and around you. The, the question is, do you, do you see God working? And if, if you don't see God working in your life and in your world, uh, wh wh why not? And what steps do you think you can take so that you will see God working around you?